Winona Ryder is captivating in Welcome Home, Roxy Carmichael. The narrative is a little slow, but it's worth it. This was released in 1990. It's directed by Jim Abrams, written by Karen Lee Hopkins and stars Winona Ryder as Dinky. And the town is bubbling over with excitement because Roxy Carmichael, who used to live there and has become very, very famous since her, her time there, is coming coming home and they're going to have a welcome home Roxy Carmichael celebration and everybody's getting really excited about it. But Dinky has a, a much deeper emotional response because she believes that Roxy Carmichael is her mother. And she believes that she's going to meet her mother and ideally that her mother will whisk her away. And the film is basically about Dinky preparing for this and also feeling like an outsider. And if you have ever felt like an outsider, you will relate to Dinky in some way. I think it's a very powerful film because of how well written, how believable and how realistic Dinky is as a character. The rest of the film is a little bit ludicrous. This whole town is going crazy just to welcome home this Roxy Carmichael. And the narrative, well, the backdrop of the narrative is quite bizarre. But Dinky's perspective is really fascinating. It's not completely predictable. There were certain things that I kind of expected would happen and they did, but there were some things that I hadn't seen coming that I thought were very well written within the narrative insofar as they were believable. When certain things were revealed, it felt like the right time. And ultimately, any scene with Dinky, I enjoyed. Yes, that's partly because I do love Winona Ryder, but also because I feel Dinky was just such a, a really fascinating character and Ryder, of course, gave a great performance. The few scenes that didn't have Dinky in them, I honestly thought were kind of dull, but they are so few and far between. She is pretty much in every scene, which really works in the film's favour. Definitely a character-driven film, but with a decent narrative. It's not the most intricate narrative. Not much happens throughout the film. It is basically just Dinky going through different emotions and talking to different people about her situation. Not many people, because she's very much a closed book and doesn't like to give too much of herself away. But she does open up very slightly to a few different people. And her guidance counsellor in particular, I really liked. I really liked her as a character. Not that there's anything wrong with the other characters, but definitely Dinky was the driving force behind the entire film. and. Partly because I love Winona Ryder, partly because I now love Dinky, I did enjoy the film. If you're looking for a meaty narrative that's got a lot of substance and twists and turns and a lot of key plot points, this isn't going to be that film. But if you like films with fascinating characters, and indeed, as I said, if you've ever felt like an outsider, ever felt like you didn't fit in, this will... This will be a film that you can connect with in some way. It's pretty powerful. And I even started to well up at one point, not because it was a particularly emotional moment, but we just had this moving scene. And then the next scene had a beautiful piece of music over the top of it. And it was just really, really well done. I don't want to say which scene it was because it's a spoiler, but certainly my emotions were very much attached to this film when I was watching it. Welcome Home, Roxy Carmichael is a good narrative with a brilliant character and a really great performance from Winona Ryder. If it sounds like your kind of film, I'd say it's worth checking out.